Charles, you're on Phone Hugs and Therapy, where your mind matters most. What's on your mind today? Hi, you can you can call me Charlie. Most of my friends do. All right. Um, I'm having a lot of business problems, financial issues, and I just I don't know what to do. That's why we're talking today. So, what exactly is it that's causing you distress? Well, I I took over a company when I was when I was really young, and I mean it, it seemed like the the opportunity of a lifetime, but. I mean, as the years have gone by, it's just been so hard, you know, with all the new government regulations and, you know, competitors trying to steal my formulas and my recipes and all of the cheap knockoffs from China. It's just getting so hard to compete. And, you know, the government's asking for tax money and it's just, so I don't know what to do. Are, are your problems more from the... Uh losses incurred from all this competition and strain, or is it more of a where you're putting your money isn't paying off at the moment? A, a little bit of both. I mean, I don't think the previous owner ever paid taxes, and I'm trying to deal with that now, and... Well, you that's know, a good thing to take care of. I, I'm trying, and my workforce, you know, luckily they're... Well, well they're not traditional. Um, they were. They were... Most of them were here when I, when I took over the business, and you know, I certainly wasn't going to ask them for green cards or anything, so... Well, you know. we wouldn't want to make any current presumptions about the legal standing of your business, but... Oh, I, I you know, I'm, I'm sure it's okay. So this is causing you a lot of distress, though, and the workers, are they a help or are they a burden on this? I, they, they try. They're very, they're very jovial. They, they try to lift my spirits. You know, they'll sing and dance, but they just, they just don't understand productivity and healthcare laws and all winter, I have to, I have to heat this giant underground river of chocolate. Do you know how expensive that is to maintain, and the filters, and keeping it from clogging? It's a huge capital expense. And they're I, just not helping you facilitate these needs. It's, it's really, um, it's just, it's impossible to get them to focus on, you know, more than just having fun and. You know, that was that worked well for a while, but it's Well, it sounds like the money that you're putting into this workforce isn't paying off in the way you need it to. And one of the things you want to keep in mind with spending awareness is that it's really important to make sure that your money is giving you value back. Now, you could try to retrain them all and see if that goes any better, or if worse comes to worse, you could always just drown them all in a river and replace them. But, you know, clearly we wouldn't actually advocate that. No, no, we wouldn't have a chocolate river to drown them. That would that wouldn't work at all. Thanks, Doctor. Thank you. Well, hopefully things go well for Charles. But it's good to keep in mind that when dealing with spending awareness on such a large scale, that a lot of tough decisions come into play, and sometimes downsizing is an option you have to consider. The one thing you do want to keep in mind is the ethics of that decision, and make sure that what you're saving in profits doesn't hurt the bottom line of your social awareness. And it should go without saying, but Please don't actually drown any employees in a river. Chocolate rivers have much better uses than that.